<clears throat> in light of new developments inside of the Shebekino border crossing in Belgorod, I thought I'd do a brief video kind of reporting. Uh, first, I'll explain what this means. This light blue thing means the uh, pro-Ukrainian presence inside the area. The dark blue means control. And the reason for that is, seeing this, you may get the impression that they occupy a huge amount of territory. That doesn't necessarily imply they control the territory, it just implies that they have troops present inside the territory. Because, well, if they're pr they basically don't have a permanent presence, more or less. That doesn't mean they don't influence in exert influence. That doesn't mean that they aren't having an active impact on our front lines. It just means that the positions aren't very solid, so you shouldn't exactly take it with the greatest degree of severity, more or less. Okay. So the first development which I will report on is Dovaya Telvazhanka has been completely taken by the Ukrainians uh, as of yesterday. I didn't want to report on it yet because they have excess claims and all that because I remember yesterday there were reports of a city being taken and there were reports of it being encircled and the governor said that this town was cut off. So I took that as meaning that it was encircled and the troops in it were cut off, which is probably what happened because there's been a, lot, a large amount of prisoners taken inside the settlement. So Novaya Tolvashanka has fallen, and I put it into the area of Ukraine control. Same for the checkpoint over here. This is basically base of operations from where they are, did all this stuff here. The second thing. Ukrainians have started using, uh, let's just say, uh, underground waste disposal networks to get into the settlement of Shebekino. And they've been using that to disrupt... Russian lines in the area and lead to a lot of confusions. And there's also been Russian sending military reinforcements in the area. Uh, from what I've heard, at least three tanks have been destroyed yesterday. Yesterday and this morning, along with several armored personnel carriers and IFVs. So the Russians are starting to send a response, but it, judging by the uh, well, the profile of the losses, it seems somewhat half-hearted, honestly. Or maybe it's just a fact that the there are a couple thousand pro-Ukrainian Russians across the border right now. It's kind of hard to say, but basically the Battle of Shebekino is ongoing right now. I personally have not heard of any major developments outside of the use of under underground sewage systems, well, waste disposal systems, to put troops behind the Russian front lines. And I also have not gotten any further development on Maram. I have heard that the uh, Russians have crossed the border near Sereda and attacked the village of Zelena and basically got nothing done because the Ukrainian border guards aren't actually shit like the Russians are. But yeah, that's basically the whole situation that's going on here and if I hear anything new I'll do an another update on it.